Legend of Total War here with another Saving Your Disaster campaigns. Today we're playing as the Irish in no fucking potatoes land, apparently. Um, it's turn 81, it's the Britannia campaign for Medieval 2. And things look not great, but also this is... I don't know, I think it's salvageable. Come and get okay, so let's see what they've got. That's actually a pretty decent friggin' army. What have we got here? Whew, alright, well, we're gonna have to wait for them to attack. I, I don't think I can sally out against that. I, will only I mean, I can, but... It would be better to wait for them to attack, because the reason reason why I'm not going to attack out there is due to all these feudal knights. Those will be very difficult to deal with with only this much cavalry, and those longbows will not let us get close. But this is a citadel, we can certainly just do our best to hold them back. Hopefully they make the attack over this turn. My king. Uh, and they don't send another attack at us. Just looking at England. They're not as strong as they were at the start. So that leads me to believe that things aren't going so well on the main, um, on the mainland. Alright, let's just move on. There's nothing I can do right now. Oh, good. <laughs> That's even better. Well, is it better? I mean, it probably would have been better if I had actually taken uh, taken that army on. Doesn't matter if they take the fort. I'm surprised they lift the siege. The enemy has surrounded us. We're besieged. So I don't think this is going to be a particularly difficult campaign to solve. It's just... A matter of, I think, someone with not quite as much experience. Just didn't really... Like, we look at this, it just sort of... His campaign never really sort of took off. You can definitely tell it's not a deliberate disaster. Because no one would go 82 turns with just ending turn. No one's got that much patience. All the, all the fake disasters are much, much shorter. Okay, so... This... The thing is, we don't know what's here. Let's have a look at our agents. We got yes, a spy in Meath. What kind of settlement is this? It's just a large town. Fortress up that way. Like I said, I don't want to fight that army out in the field. They shall not see me, sire. Stopping here, sire. Lord's retinue. Okay. Just think. So gunpowder is also available. It does say Rebel Large Town, but you can tell it's owned by the English just because of, because of that. That's the thing, I just don't know what's there. I, well, my liege. let's send... I, I, my liege. Only my the king. cavalry can make it as well. I, if I bring the infantry, liege. they won't make it. My king. That's a big army. We're, we're caught between two big armies. Hmm. Gotta think what's best to do in this situation. And part of the thing is I just don't know what's there. But sometimes you just have to go balls to the wall and have a look. Oh, man, that's, that's pretty strong. That's, that's pretty damn strong. It's all these damn feudal knights. The rest of it doesn't really bother me too much. But all these feudal knights, damn. Alright, so, comparing military rankings. Oh, yeah, they're, they're way stronger than what they start off with. This is why I tell people, like, you got to get a good start on a Total War campaign, because the AI will just keep recruiting. I, my liege. Hmm. Here's the thing. It's going to take me a I few can't. turns to get there. I, my liege. We march to glory. There's no, there's no artillery in this army, is there? No. Alright, let's... Let, those guys there are dead. Let's just face that. Oh man, this is not enough. Aye, Lord. Bringing the men together, sire. Got a lot of money in reserve. I'm gonna need more cavalry. Hmm, oh, it's a firearm cavalry. Oh, hmm. I usually don't last this long. As in, the campaign usually doesn't last this long. My king. Before I finish. Move out. Uh, what are we building Combining here? Blister towers. Yeah, those will help. I, my liege. 
It might even be better to come down to here, which is actually Rebel... Con mm. Now look, I think we should should deal with this. It's just going to be a tough battle. We just have to suck it up. Alright, moving on. Now I'm going to fight this battle manually on, just because lads. the English have such ours. a huge advantage over us. And if I order resolve this, we'll get no kills. But if I fight it manually, we'll get some kills. It's not going to be many. And it may be, overall, not much of a good use of our time. But... We are badly outnumbered and we need to do something about it. So here's what I'm thinking. Let them come in and let the archers just shoot while they just do their best to hold their ground. This is a really tiny fort. Alright. Hold your ground. Hopefully they, they bring this up here. We'll see what happens. And then I guess we'll just try to utilize the towers as much as possible. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It is time for butcher's work. Wait for it, and start shooting them. What's the thing to consider the is that they will recover quite a lot of walls. troops. Let courage and skill at arms lead our way. Ah, damn it. I was hoping these guys would get more shots off. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. The Lord, the enemy are battering down the gates. Oh man, they're late. Damn them all! The enemy's ram is through our gates. The walls are no they're, longer. They're ours. doing a good job. The There's enemy have taken them. Really get them to do. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this mess. Ah, my lord! Our foolish general has thrown his life away, and perhaps our chances of victory with it. Just don't break. Oh, they're gonna break. He almost used up all of his ammo. They lost a lot of men. 15% of their troops died. We, whatever. So hopefully they don't go and besiege no fucking potatoes, because if they do, we have to go back. No, I didn't think they would. Looks like they removed. Oh, I was wrong. But we did weaken them. Maybe I should try and destroy that army by, Sire, by selling out. We did just recruit a lot of cavalry, that will come in handy. Uh, we're going to draw an opportunity here, you are but. Not my lead. I will only address you in battle. My king, losing in the enemy. They are weaker. I mean, 300 men weaker, that does make a difference, and we are technically stronger. Aye, my liege. Be gone. It is you not worth not losing Tripperary. Oh, sorry, it's not worth losing no fucking potatoes for um for that other region. So we're going to come back over here, and we're going to lift this siege. What kind of mercs do we have here? Aye, my liege. Yeah, I'm going to need Cav. Aye, lord. Losing in the enemy. Right, lads! Get ready to give them hell! Units away, my order. So yeah, I'm keen to see how these guys perform. Their bigger, the biggest problem is definitely going to be the enemy longbowmen. That is going to be tricky. Well, it's a combination of the longbowmen and the cavalry, I suppose. These guys are going to have trouble getting out. Oh my fucking god. Seriously, everyone plays with restrict camera. Turn that shit off. I mean, that's kind of how you can tell somebody hasn't got much experience in the game when they're playing with restrict camera. Because it's... 
It's really not enjoyable. Alright. Just trying to think how best to go about this. Alright, let's put them away there. Let's get these guys... Okay, let's get them over here. So there's the longbowman there. There's a billman. That's the enemy general there. Okay. Do these guys have long range missiles? No. Okay, look, we could probably get them out. Should be too difficult. I don't think they'll be able to shoot from that distance. Too loud. Drop it down a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna send the Hobbigweer to go and charge into the Longbowmen, but we gotta make sure that if any routed unit or if any units route, these Lords Retinue are behind here ready to run them down. Once we've gotten rid of their longbowmen, this should be a piece of cake. Alright. You'll go in first, followed by the generals. So, five units of longbowmen. Now we probably could have sallied out at the at the first turn and wiped this out, but I thought it was too great of a risk. At the end of the day, they're weaker now and we're stronger, so we've got a much greater chance of success. See, this is what I'm afraid of. You go charging in on them and then this happens. You really can't get very far in. Well, they're right in the middle here, and you can't get at them. I really need need them to break so he can let get at them. These, hmm. like I said, the longbowmen are definitely going to be trouble. Shit, I really don't want to be fighting their cavalry right now. I want to use the guns to get rid of them. Some build militia here, might as well try to run them down, but it's not, not a top priority. Those are the, the least priority to deal with. But, if we can, then, you know, give it a shot. you over here to start shooting at them because the, all of their units are pretty distracted at the moment. Just try and keep their, their things distracted. You can ride over this way. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy! Okay, back. Shit, because our king's not in command, they're wavering. Fucking hell. 
aiming for our gun gun cavalry. This is why you gotta get rid of the uh, the longbowmen first. Come on, let's get back here. Right, where are you? Yeah, they don't have particularly long range. Good few units of longbowmen got got wrecked. These guys have armor piercing shot, right? Effective against armor, cool. when they got so much cavalry, it's hard to micromanage everything perfectly. Oh, come on. That guy did well. I think most of their longbowmen are gone. Still, still got some though. How you going? You're doing okay. okay. Put them on skirmish mode, but... Skirmish mode is so unreliable. There we go. Just sit there and just take it. Nice. That's what I wanted. I wanted to have these guys take out the the cavalry. All right, there's still long vermin over here. That needs to be dealt with. might be best if I just keep this guy out of it for the time being, because it's hard to micromanage. Got my eye over here. These guys here are pretty good at getting rid of their knights. Still got some longbowmen here. I'm gonna charge in there while they're in a bit of disarray. I'm gonna bring you back over this way. Try and keep them close together, it'll be easier to micromanage that way. Good, they just stood there and took it. That should break them. Nice. Now we have missile superiority. Now we just gotta try and get rid of the cavalry. Once we get rid of the cavalry, and specifically the general, the rest of this will just be easy. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. So this one here is the general. Alright, good to know. 
The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Try and capture him if we can. Because our, our unit here should be faster than them. Obviously he's more of a priority. Oh shit. Oh well. Three percent of our forces, but of course, three percent of our best forces the cavalry. Even though the English have better cavalry, I'm still a better cavalry commander. So, we gotta reduce the number of cavalry they have, and then I'll have the advantage. Ah, they are just wrecking house here. I reckon these guys are going to be very helpful against, uh, against dealing with the, uh, the English. Yeah, I don't think those longbowmen came back, so we can get as close as we like. And they can't do shit about it. No, no, we don't need you. Get back. back over here just in case anything anything routes try and run them down because I don't just want to win the battle we want to destroy them it says we're at 47 percent but I know a bunch of guys got away I guess one of the best things about gun troops is that their ammunition really does seem to last a long time I don't, I don't want to be shooting Billman. Got to be getting rid of this cavalry. Once we get rid of the cavalry, we'll have the complete mobility. We're going to get ripped to shreds. Gunpowder made knights obsolete, pretty much. I get how Medieval 2 has better gunpowder mechanics than, than Empire Total War. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Get him. Our men have captured Finally. the enemy general. Guard them well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. Well, you know we've won now. I reckon these two can finish this off themselves. Just shoot until they break, and when they break, run them down. But these guys, they're... I'm very happy with how they perform. Gunpowder or not, I can appreciate good performance. Because as I've said before, I don't like guns. Our men are winning the battle. Not great at running like enemy units down there. We will smash the enemy. Exhausted.
Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, so he's out of ammo now. It's good, just keep shooting them. You know, it saves us losing any men at all. He's still got plenty of ammo. But these two here definitely man of the man of the hour. Well, MVP. God damn it. Almost over. No, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I'll definitely be hiring more of these. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Now, did we get 85%? Pretty sure we did. And we only lost 4% of our army. So. This is a clear victory that goes to only men 93%. of great nice. Cool. Well, that's that bit done, at least. That no fucking potatoes is safe, for the time being. Don't need the money, just need them dead. How are we going for money? We are hemorrhaging cash. Alright, send another I unit of Daisy Jeff. Uh, stay on board. These I guys king. are coming with me. I march! Merging armies, sire. And we're going back down there, we've got to get down here. We got financial troubles. We need we need territory, we need to loot. Alright. So yeah, was pretty damn happy with how that performed. We'll get more of them. The upkeep cost is very reasonable as well. I mean, I, I do want more cavalry, but it's... No, uh, let me see here. It's only 185, we can handle it. I'll get down there before we go broke. Aye, my liege. All right, we good to go? Aye, Lord. I have nothing else to do. Would have been nice to have done a draw out there, but like I said, it's absolutely not worth losing no fucking potatoes. After this is done, which will be really good in helping it defend itself, we'll need to think more about trying to make some cash. So, trade routes will be useful. God damn. Be gone. You are not my liege. Hmm, there's a draw out opportunity here. We could smash this army here, I leave the infantry behind, to to and just you, take the cavalry. Scum down here to Tripperary. Hopefully we'll have enough movement. I, my liege. So, uh, we're not losing that much money per turn. Okay, if I sent yes, you in there... Uh, it's my only spy. Alright. Let's see here. I am here only to fight thee, not to <sighs> banter. They, they, they put some good units in their army. No doubt about that. I, my liege. By your will, sire, One, two, we shall engage. Three, four, five, six. Hang on. My king. Aye, lord. My king. Aye. Forward. Leading the men with honor, sire. So, six units of cavalry. One, two, three, four. Okay. I always thought that the soundtrack for the Britannia campaign in this was was really good. Just in general, Medieval 2 soundtrack was just really, really good. I think it's got the best soundtrack out of any Total War game. Although, some of the new stuff's not bad. Doesn't have that same epicness. I 
I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Alright, so... We've got more... More gun... Troops... Than they do archers, I think. Uh, we'll see how we go. If we can just annoy them. Well, let's just, let's just see how we go. If they decide to shoot us as we're coming in here. Because we really need to thin out their fucking cavalry. Whilst we, we've got cavalry superiority, I don't want to lose half my cavalry to this. And these guys here will not fight well against their cavalry. Their infantry don't count for shit. Okay. What I want to do here, I want to buy myself as much time as possible. So fall back to about here. Give, give them more time to shoot. Okay, so so far... The longbowmen are not bothering to do anything about it. That's good. Try and snipe the enemy general if we can. Don't get too too close. Whole unit of feudal knights pretty much gone. Take care of their general's bodyguard. We want them to rout quickly. Damn, these units are good. Like they're just ripping through their feudal knights. Barely used any ammo. Alright, well. I don't know why they're charging into melee. Also, I do appreciate this is a huge unit scale. I've been getting a lot of, like, small unit scale saves. I just prefer huge unit scale. Okay, so it's. Now they're, they're doing their thing. Is I gotta micromanage this. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. We must have taken out at least half of their cavalry now. Feudal Knights charging into my, my archers there, but honestly, more concerned about the cavalry. Forget about the archers. Not that important. Definitely would have been nice if we had killed the enemy general. But things seem to be falling apart for the enemy anyway. Like I said, good luck. I managed the stuff over here. The enemy are badly bloodied. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. By the saints, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. All right, looks like we've got this. I mean, yeah. That's, that's good enough there. Good job. Look how our cowardly foe runs. 
It is time to press the attack. All right, we don't need to shoot anymore. Man, these guys did amazingly well on that. Without them, they wouldn't. That just made the battle so easy. We definitely took some damage, though. But they lost more. We should still be in good enough shape to uh, to finish the job. Uh, to get down to whatever, to, to get down to the other settlement, and take it. Are we at 85? Yeah. All of Christendom will be in awe of the... Aye! Victory! Aye, my liege. Okay, we might... Aye! No, some of the unit. Well, some of the units won't make it. Uh... Be gone. You are not my lead. She still manage even if only a few of them can make it. Alright, all infantry. Aye, King. Aye. Needs to return here to no fucking potatoes, because it needs to be protected. Onward. Do these units Aye, Lord. Aye. only come with 60? So they do. But they have two hit points. They're also very cheap. Those are very fucking expensive for... Piece of shit unit. I lord, my king. They might go after the fort instead. All right, to defend the settlement, what are we gonna need? Um, what happened to the gunpowder unit? Eighty-five percent Irish. Why did we lose percentage on this? Huh. That's not good. I can't hire priests. Okay, I think we need some archers in here. Ulster swordsmen. Uh, go with the the cheaper Muir. Cannon towers. That'll ensure that you'll never lose the settlement. Aye, my liege. All right. Now, not everyone can come with us. I'm pretty sure. Aye, my liege. These can. Aye. Nope. There we go. They can. But that actually might be too much. Let's see now. Let's take. My king. Take them and just go Aye. and check out the balance Losing of power. The enemy. Right. Still. Aye, nowhere near liege. in our favour. That's. My king. It's good. We don't want it to be. My king. At this stage. Aye. Aye, my liege. Aye. Move out. Closing in the enemy. All right. All right. Aye, I'm going to leave you behind. Aye, You're going to look liege. after the province. Aye, my liege. Aye, my liege. Breaking away from the armies. Aye, lord. I, my liege. By your will, sire, we shall engage. All right, here we go. Let's take a settlement. Enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Let's see here. And we could just just charge on in. It really would be fine. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and hold this I'm not this seeing any. I probably should check, but I'm not seeing any longbowmen. Were there any in this army? We should have checked. Uh. Yeah, there's some long moment in this one. I think we should send them to go charge after them first. Great thing about this, no cavalry. 100% chance of success here. 100%. There is no possibility of us losing, or not even not getting the settlement. Actually, we, we won't have enough movement to get it, will we? Shit, I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh well.
should have left one of these, probably left that one behind so that it could have captured the settlement. Hopefully they don't recruit, well, we'll just, we'll see how things go. Shreds. You know, I wouldn't have expected the Irish to have, you know, mounted gun troops in the 15th. This is the early 15th century, or was it the early, uh, late 13th century? I can't remember. Late 14th century, sorry. Turn 81. I'm not sure. We'll see. What, we'll see what year it is when. Ah, Fucking staying near the red line. That can be tricky, because it's hard to get at them. So we just go for it. Charge him in there. But you'll need to stay real close to the red line here to make sure they don't break, uh, don't run away. So I did say 100% chance we'll take the settlement. But if they get away, you know, obviously we won't. But there's no cavalry, so... Go in just yet. So now cut them off. Okay, they'll, they'll be fine, we'll get them. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Good, they cut off. The enemy general lies dead. We the enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the caverns down. Come on, don't let any of them escape. I mean, sure, maybe a few of them will, but just try to minimize that. One guy gets away. That's okay. That that force is as good as wiped out. The militia? Uh, yeah, you'd be fine. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings as our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Only half the enemy force remains. Enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. The enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the cowards down. Right, this is cool. a clear victory that goes only to one man escaped. Great... So that's a that's a success right there. Now, can we get in there this turn? Let's see. Yeah, okay, cool. We had enough movement. They would, wouldn't have made it there, though. Good, and we've increased our income by a thousand, which is actually pretty good for the Irish. Since their units are so cheap. Uh, yeah, a bit of extra mining money would be good. The public order here should be fine. Right. So where to next? I think we need this fast and mobile force. 
to continue March. doing what it's doing here. We've marched our limit. So just merge them there. Have a small garrison. Uh, oh yes. Um, I don't know. Thinking, should we bother getting a merchant? I mean, we could. Why not? I mean, there's silver here. Is there two units of silver? I understand a little bit better. There's two units of silver down this way. Right, why not? I'll, I'll make my way down here and we'll see how we go. Because there's two units of silver. This is something I didn't explain in my merchant one. Somebody actually explained it to me in the comments. And it's something I didn't know. Um, so I don't know if I responded to that comment or not. But anyway, if you've got, if there's two units, two, sorry, two of the same resources in the, on the, um, in a single province, it's worth double, but only if you monopolize it. And I tested it out, it's, it works. Which is why, um, say, the gold at Zagreb is not as valuable as the gold in Timbuktu. I didn't realize that, because I was left a little bit puzzled as to why that was. But this still doesn't mean the merchants are suddenly worth it, but it means that they're a little bit more worth it than I thought. Which is to say, still not very much. Okay, uh... I mean, it's not that well defended. We should... Yeah, we should be fine. Why don't you come down here and have a look at what they got? They shall not see me, sire. Yeah, we'll just... We'll do the, uh... Do the usual, you know... The, the trick, you guys know what I'm talking about. You'll see. Alright, uh, everything seems good. How are we going financially? Making a little bit of money per turn. Alright, let's move on. It's good, yeah. They're usually attracted to forts. Buys us time. Sacrifice one unit of shit that I don't need. We're besieged. To give us time to recruit. Good stuff that I do need. Yeah, we're gonna get back. Okay. Surprised they're so expensive. I don't really think they're worth that much money. Why are these so cheap? Ah, oh, the spy died. That's okay, we've got an idea of what's down there. Where to? My king! I joining our forces. My lord. Alright, we won't make it here this turn, but we're under no real pressure now. If they besiege this, they they'll they'll never win. They'll need two full stacks, at least, to take this on. Aye, Lord. Aye. Yeah. Okay. My lord. And it won't be the end of our faction when we if if and when we lose that. Name everything after potatoes. I was in line with his. It was in line with his theme. I didn't start it. I wish have a good sense of humor. They'd be cool with it. <laughs> but dare to claim that Muhammad's beard is a pube and blah, boom. <laughs> Could also grab that, I guess. Don't know if I need it though. Well, next turn we'll see. Here we go. Um, what we could do as well with these other recruits is send them to various forts, just to just to keep the the AI busy while we go and capture these settlements. All right, all good. Moving on. Again, we could fight this battle manually and kill a few of them, but we really don't need to. Like I said, the whole point of that was just to buy some time. Even a single turn. 
was worth it. There's no way in hell those two armies will take lots of fucking potatoes now. And we run out of money. Sort of. It's okay. Where to? Oh, we don't have the trebuchets. They must have hired them. That's okay. Alright, we'll have to do this the uh We'll have to do things my way. Alright. I Lord. On one. Closing in the Lord. Move out. Aye, Lord. Move out. Aye. We march no further today. Uh, yeah, no, we can put the um, the Daisy Javelin men in, in forts. Actually, maybe best recruit something here. They left it undefended, but I, I can't I get can't. in there. Alright, what do we need? Got some archers. Archers are obviously pretty useful. Don't really need cavalry for a siege defense. So these guys have higher melee defense. These have higher melee attack. Right, that's because they've got shields and they've got two-handed motherfucking swords. Alright, let's get a Gaelic archer. Yeah, four units of archers would be good. No way they're going to get in there. Okay, what are we doing now? Not making much cash. Oh, wait, fuck, I had these merchants. Merchant at your so that's worth 76. Right, yeah, it's more than this way, because there's two here. Opening a new trade lane, sire. That's so much money. It's not really. Uh, how good is this merchant? merchant no, he's not that good. Um, once we own the settlement, it'll also give us a little bit more of a boost. Um, I kind of actually want to hire another merchant. But we'll have to do that when we've actually got some money. Now, it's not a priority. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Come on, lads! This battle is ours! Units! Really like these units. I mean, really like them. <laughs> And you guys know I fucking hate guns. The battle seems to be swinging I, in our favor. As much as For I hate guns, I like results. But I also like horse archers, so it's like they they kind of like horse archers. I think the only thing they really need to finish my orgasm is just longer range. Should call it wargasm, actually. But is he gonna catch up? The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field yep. of battle and abandons his men. Well, these hobbies we are quite fast, so that's to be expected. All right, I don't think we need anything other than the general now, because they've got some archers. I'd rather these guys here not get shot. The general by himself would be more than enough. Specifically, aim for the cavil uh, the archers, and then. Well, we'll see how we go. Get the car, just we'll take him out. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't do a very good job on that one. Oh well. Just ignore those fucking peasants. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the right, enemy. We can bring you back over here as long as as long as the uh, the Gaelic archers are taken care of. It's fine to bring them in. Only half the enemy force remains. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Well, that's basically we have GG. Set the cart to hell. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. I just want to kill some rebels. This is a clear victory that goes to only men. Good. Good amount of cash gain from that. Obviously, building up the silver mines here should be a priority. Ooh, that's a lot of fear, considering we just sacked the city. 480, yep, and then build it up to a minor town. Don't need to worry about repairing that. My king. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, All next stop. Uh, the Leinster region is Dublin. <coughs> Alright, let's go to Dublin. Uh, we could probably use some more troops. Then again, they could use some more troops down here as well. Uh, a spy wouldn't be a bad idea. My lord, march! My lord. Okay, yeah. Um. My king. Aye, my king. Where to? Aye. Lord. Aye. My king. Aye. Move out. Aye. Sure, Aye. it'll be fine. Joining our forces. Where to? Onward. Battle What's this? Today. Legend recruiting merchants. Now I've seen everything. It's not for me, it's for him. I don't need him. Anyway, it's late game, so. What year is it? Yeah, it's, it's it's actually mid 14th century. So they're bringing in more forces, but and honestly, the more you, uh, it's too late. It's too late. Once this is done, which will be done next turn, we'll we'll never lose the settlement. You guys, I've already shown you how to deal with with cannon towers. It'll it'll never be lost. Um, good, we got the the stuff back up. Yeah. So we don't need any more infantry. I want to get some cavalry. So these horse boys are javelin men, I think. Eh, I'm not a big fan of javelin men. I'd rather get the hobby gear. Recruit some cavalry so that he can get a cavalry force together once these guys are dead. If they just want to sort of lay siege here or, or whatever, we'll, we'll just sort that out. This should be more than enough to get to get the job done over here, given what we know about the settlement. But we'll have to wait and see. Financially, we're looking good. Okay, what do we want to build here? Yeah. I mean, public order's under control, so let's get the, get the farming done. Let's move on. Oh, yeah, I said I was gonna. So we've got Spudsville. And how about. Mashville. Get some old mashed potatoes. Where to? Is there anyone in that fort? They usually leave them undefended. Yeah, okay. We can stay there for the day. Aye! Victory! Reduce upkeep cost. Merchant at your service. It's merchants. Fucking retarded. Opening a new yeah, it's worth twice as much. We have a princess. Aye, my king. Typical Irish charm. <laughs> I 
And they're just sitting there. And that's fine. So overall, how much are we making for merchant money? Whoa, 168. So much cash. Alright, and that spy. I do need intel. So... I mean, it probably would help if we had a merchant skill, but eh, it's, it's not important. I'm gonna take him I, out with the cavalry. My king. My king. Actually, I'm gonna take him out with everything. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait one more turn. Hang on. I'll wait one more turn. Because I will. Ne we will never lose lots of fucking potatoes. Now that that's been done, it will not fall. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna take him out. Aye, my liege. Aye, lord. My king. Aye. Now, of course, you don't want to necessarily fight them. My so king. go around them. Aye. Want Aye. them to attack lots Forward. of fucking potatoes. Merging armies, sire. Yeah, leave the daisy javelin men behind, because it's only give two shits Aye, about lord. them. I don't want Aye. them in my army. Aye, lord. My king. Move out. Aye. Joining march. Merging armies, sire. Some peasants is all you need to protect the settlement. Aye, my liege. And we'll send them Aye. around this way Making to uh, to come and assist the king. We good? We good? I need fleet. I could use another spot though. All right, moving on. Yeah, you're marrying the princess. I know she's a bit of a slag, but whatever. I just have to deal with it. At your service. Check the area for any no other point there, sir. nastiness. Moving quietly. I, my liege. I have nothing to say to you. Scum. We march to yeah. glory. Try to avoid him. Was that your best shot? Because yeah, in the field, the English still gonna be powerful. That's what we want. What we want them to attack. Lots of fucking potatoes. We want them to do it. All right. Uh, obviously, with no infantry, that could be a bit tricky. I mean, we can get some Irish kerns, but I do have these hobbigwies, and they worked well for us last time. So let me just. Move out. Lord. Send I them Lord. around over here. Move out. To get besieged, it's just it's just quicker. I, my liege. Ah, better off with that. Since we're not making loads of cash, we probably should increase taxes. No more recruiting, there's no need, we're good now. Alright, moving on. What to rename Dublin? Right, lads! Get ready to give them hell! So once again, get the general to take out the longbowmen, pretty sure they had longbowmen there, and then I'll get the guns to take out the, the swordsmen. You're Although the general can handle it as well. But why put him at risk? There's a 0.001% chance he might die. For the moment the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Alright, so, looking at him. Yep, we got uh, well armored longbowmen and yeah, those guys. Okay, no worries. You guys start getting over here as well. Don't shoot just yet.
Oh, these are archer militia. They're not even. I thought they were longbowmen. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh shh. How did you shot at you? Maybe the arch militia did. By the saints, our men have slain the enemy general. Without look, how our cowards is a clear victory. Master Thieves Guild in Dublin. Sure, that'll be good for spies. A new plague grips Ooh. the land. The Black Death rides upon the wind, killing all who breathe it. Ooh. That's gonna suck. <laughs> the Black Death is on the way. Uh, Dublin will be known as... Oh, let me see. Is precious. Well, too. They didn't. They didn't besiege it. I my right. liege. Plague hasn't hit us just yet, but you know it will. Okay. Well, get it near the silver mines. And also, Dublin should be the capital. And it increased the amount of money we make from these merchants. Merchant at your service. Merchant at your service. Cool. Well, whopping. Like, a hundred. Okay. Aye, my king. Got two units in there. My king. I forward. Combining the armies, sire. Where to? My king. I sire. I lord. Losing Shall in we the continue enemy. with the buggery? I the believe so. Besieging settlement, sire. I sire. The siege goes as planned. Just wondering what to build. Uh, I guess I guess building up the roads would be good. I my liege. Hmm, I don't know where their army is. Where's our spy? Here's my king. On my way. I have nothing. I am Ooh, here only shit. to fight thee. Not to banter. I my king. Aye, my liege. Was that your best shot? Hmm. Aye. My king. Aye, my liege. I am here. Alright, I'm gonna have you stand on this river here. Liege. Maybe Aye, they'll try to attack us. Maybe. No. Oh man, you suck as, as a king. I thought you were actually good. Uh, didn't I hire another spy? Yeah. At your side. Hey, where's this princess? Yes, I thought we married her off. Uh, it doesn't matter. Continuing tomorrow, sir. Why does it keep dropping below 85%? What's going on with that? We good? I think so. Well, I, I can't really make any more decisions I with this, but I probably should have should have spied this area first. Shouldn't even if they come under attack, we'll just withdraw. Whatever the case is, we'll definitely capture Trim. Okay, the gun 
the gun to easily sort this Come out. Come on, lads! This battle is ours! Units, await my orders! So we've made good progress in terms of capturing settlements, but my concern is that he's going to lose the battle against the English and just lose all the progress that we've made here. So at some point, we're already an hour and 11 minutes into this, I'm going to have to defeat those armies out in the field. Kind of risky doing this on six times speed, but it's only infantry, so I should be able to out, out maneuver them. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. We've almost got done without a single casualty. Let's do it. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The enemy army freezes right, a clear Third victory. Death. That's good, we've taken another citadel. I think it's a citadel, right? I saw something about the Baron's Alliance. The Great Mortality. Let's hit Trim. Ah, oh, you get hit. Okay. Ah, oh, it's hit them all. You'd have plague as well, but it doesn't really matter so much. Merchant at your service. Stand over here. Opening a new trade lane, sire. Another one that sucks. All right. A lot. It's gonna be tricky getting things when there's the great plague. We can't, we can't take these guys out now. He doesn't have the plague, but he's old. Uh, let's see. Was that your best shot? So yeah, it's a citadel. Okay. Where to? I am here only to fight thee. Aye, my king. Down Patrick's got no garrison. I lord. No way. Losing in the enemy. What the fuck? It marched our limits. <laughs> Fine by me. Maybe there was a general there. I mean there was already plague here anyway, so spreading the plague really what does it matter? And then sacking the population, I mean it's all they're already dead anyway. Where to? I, my liege. We need to get our forces together pre to prepare to defeat those those guys, and then the rest of this would be easy. Okay, we gotta uh, trim those. No, that's not really a potato um, reference. Uh, let's see, we got Tater's Precious. Let's see, how about potato wedges? 
And Don Patrick can get uh, potato jackets. Potato jackets. Yes, my king. On my way. Aye, my king. My lord. If they were to capture this plague ridden settlement, it would actually be like jokes on them. I can't believe we took down. I can't believe they didn't leave the garrison here. It's hilarious. We can get ourselves another. I wouldn't worry about it really, unless there's some more silver out here. I wouldn't bother. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. All right. So I'm thinking. I my liege. Hmm. We could send you up here to get close to this fortress. We we'll get ready to attack it. But yeah, we probably need to clear out these armies. So I want you to come here. We march to go. And you I come here. Stand next to each other. Get ready to stand and fight. I can't give you any reinforcements because there are plagues everywhere. Just have to weather the storm with that. I'd love to send this guy over here to assist, but we don't want to. Uh, we don't, don't want to contract a plague. You have to stay out of cities. All right, then let's move on. Oh fuck you! Luckily they failed. Oh, hang on, they failed with one. Leaving the army. Uh, not right now. I think he died of old age. Yeah, he, did, he didn't say he was assassinated, so he just died of old age. That means you're the king now, and you're not really much better in terms of authority. Okay, Angus Waterford, Lawrence Ryan, Clement of... Kildare. There's Clement of Kind Kildare. So he could die at any moment, but I wouldn't worry about him. Uh oh shit. Prince Lawrence got plague. And yeah, he would have Yeah, there we go. Those are the guys that have the plague. Aye. And financially fine. This isn't a settlement, it wouldn't have plague. My king. Killing that army would be catastrophic for him. I, my liege. I, my liege. Breaking away from the army, sire. I'm just gonna starve them out and wait for them to come out and attack I. us. I, my king. I, lord. Move out, I, lord. I, mark, I. Aye, Lord. Aye. Move out, my king. Aye, my Very low chances of him actually getting assassinated by... What do you want? ...dog shit assassins. Aye. Aye, Lord. My king. Onward. Aye. Aye, Lord. Would you... My king. Aye. Aye, Lord. My king. My king. So there's five more. Alright, take I, Lord. these five. I, 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 Lord. Onward. I, Lord. Mark. He's already got the plague, so whatever. I just need him to... Just try to stop I them from getting here. I have nothing to say to you, scum. Plague won't last forever. We'll 
all good. Yep. So yeah, that'll last three turns before they either, they'll either starve out or they'll sally out against us. We could do the sally out, you know, trick by just putting one unit there and besieging it, but you know, fuck it, whatever. Um, actually, you know what? I my lead. Yeah, fuck it, let's Knock do that. Because I, I don't want to be lead. I don't want to be bogged down here for ages. We shall hold them to siege, sire. I sire, we hold them at sea. Sire, the enemy lays siege to our walls. I hope they don't assassinate him. They didn't sell you out. That's odd. to fight thee, not to banter. That's right, fool. It's an enemy ship. <sighs> okay, well, it's got two turns left until it will sally out. Will we win here? I will only address not. you in battle. Aye, my liege. Aye. I'm surprised they didn't sally out. Because he's no longer laying siege. And he's still going to stay there. Aye, Lord. Alright. I will take these guys and head over to this fortress and lay siege. Aye. We've got to sort of quarantine the, the English. Because they don't, they don't give a shit about the plague. They'll just keep doing whatever they're going to do. Just lay siege and starve them out. Just, just sort of burn out the plague. Get ready, because enemy troops are on the way. Of course, there can be no no trade while this plague is going on. So that was bad timing, because we were just about like to secure Ireland, and then this fucking plague occurs. Let's move on. Hmm. We got cannons. Holding the walls is going to be near pointless. But the odds are in. Right, lads. It's even. Well, it says that, but I'm sure hell. it won't be. I think I'll take the Hobbigweir out and try to stop those cannons to force them to actually make a proper assault. Lord, Not proper of assault, but you seems know to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Alright, he's not the general either, so that, that could work for us. Because I'd like to use these these towers. Do they have... No, it's just regular arrow towers. Alright, let's go. Well, at least we got rid of the cannons. They've only got one ram. Uh, you stay back over here for when they rout. I need you to run them down. Down here. I uh, just wait. Once, once they start getting through, the enemy are battering down I'm gonna try and utilize the uh, the boiling oil, which means some of it needs to stay up here. Good, they're dicking around. That's what we want to see. What are they doing?
that burns, we win. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates. Uh, any chance you can kill this one moment? We didn't get to fifty percent. Why? A little bit. Ah. All right. Well. The day is ours. Let. We won the battle. That's all we can really ask for. Very unlikely they'll kill the king. Hopefully he backfires and he dies. The enemy has surrounded us. We're besieged. No, no more generals until this plague shit is over. My king. Closing in the enemy. So yeah, just starve them. That only takes four turns to starve them out, probably just because of the plague. To the walls. Just starve them out. Right, so they'll be starved out next turn if they don't sally out. See, that buys us a turn so that we can get some troops. Actually, a few Daisy Javelin men won't be that bad of an idea. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, not making that much money. Well, of course, it's because of the fucking plague. Moving on. Aye, victory. What? A Fuck. most noble conquest, sire. <laughs> Their entire army dead without. We just starved them out. No, we still got. He's in this. Yeah, I'll accept that. He's 16 years old, though. Alright, so we have a look here. All the same people, uh, so they still have the plague. So this guy here, Angus of Waterford, still has the plague, but it should only last one more turn. How are they going here? Right. But what is? What are they doing? Was that your best shot? What is this on easy or something? They just lay siege, and then they're like, "Yeah, I don't want to fight this after all." Leading the men with honor, sire. Now I did see that they're sending a force back up here, so maybe sending a few troops to go and assist wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, yes, my king. No fun. Be gone. You are not my liege. Aye. Or we could send one unit of my Gaelic archers here to Aye. block the path. Come and get me, you coward. Aye. Aye, my liege. At your service. They shall not see me, sire. Sire, no further this day. Still, still a bit of plague. Just be cautious. Th these things usually, the plague will start up again. Usually. So get that in there so that they cannot take it. Money's alright, probably because trade is resumed for the time being. Alright, moving on. Aye, my liege. Take settlement of Derry. Will do. Once I've taken all settlements. Making camp here, good sire. Then, yeah. Oh, they just wanted to go around the fort. The thing is, in the time that's taken them to go around, so Tate is precious is... Okay. I think he's Merchant lost his plague. In the time it's taken him to go around, we've built up the defences here. Enough that they're pretty unlikely to actually capture it now. 
high, my liege. They still gotta lay siege there. Aye, Lord. No, don't bother with that right now. We good? Bit of corruption here. All good, moving on. Sire, the enemy lays siege to our walls. The Black Death passes. Okay, cool. Well, that went That went faster than I thought it would. So they've they've given up on, on Lifford, I guess. They may sell you out, but you know they don't stand a chance there. I am here only to fight thee. Not to Very unlikely up. they'll win, I think. At Derry here. Aye, my liege. Shall we do the usual? Well, it's quicker. I'm already at an hour and a half. It's just quicker doing it this way. Move out. Aye. Aye, my liege. We march to glory. Wife is, wife is a wretch. <laughs> you gotta love the traits in this. Sire. It's misogynistic to say that a wife is a wretch. Alright, uh... Good, moving on. Alright. So, they've, def they've definitely got some stuff here. But they've also got some trash. We should be okay. Yeah, Come on, we'll see. This we'll battle see. is ours! There's almost no point trying to hold onto the walls, because just, it's just going to get blown to shit. I don't have any cavalry, so going out there and trying to fight them will be pointless. It might be our best option to just stay in the, in the town square. Alright, everyone get down off the walls just for the moment. Alright, so they got trebuchets. I think there's two units of catapults. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna make so many breaches here. It's it's just not gonna be worth it. We we should fight here. Just wait for them to come here. They'll waste the ammunition on these artillery and that'll actually I, I don't know. We'll see how we go. The thing is while we stay in here, at least we've got unbreakable morale. They have to kill us down to the last man from here. And if we kill their general, these guys here, since most of them are town militia, will not stand and fight. Now, if they lose here, uh, they go back on the boats, don't they? We don't have to please. The walls have fallen. Steel and valiant hearts must be our fortress now. Remember, fear is worse than fighting. have fallen. Steel and valiant hearts must be our fortress now. Remember, fear is worse than fighting. Enemy are through the walls. Fight on! They must get no further.
walls have fallen. Steel and valiant hearts must be our fortress now. Remember, fear is worse than fighting. Oh, I just gotta wait for them to get get through their uh, their ammunition stocks. I'm sure shit not gonna go out there and fight them. All right, here they come. So they didn't destroy these towers here, but it really wouldn't have been worth leaving anyone here. God save us! The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense, or all is lost. And we look at these guys here. They have good morale. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't have held up against this. I don't know what difficulty this is on. I always assume it's on very hard difficulty, but it's hard to say. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Right. She's staying there. Yeah, shooting those Gallaglite would be just great. Cut them off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, cut them off. That's a one of their best units as well. I'm trying to run off some of these archer militia because otherwise they're going to do a lot of damage to us. Fairly close by, just to make sure our guys here don't break. There's no danger of it at the moment. I'm kind of glad they're not breaking because they kind of, you know, want to kill as many of them as possible. And if they break, I won't be able to catch them. That suits me just fine here. My guys have the advantage in this situation. Now, once the archer militia are all dead or broken, then we should pull. Okay, they. Okay. Now we pull them back to here. To try to get them in an encirclement. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, enemy general incoming. We kill him, guaranteed win there. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the English billmen probably... Do they have bonus versus cavalry? No, just effective versus armor. Wait, what about these guys as well? Also effective versus armor. Which is good enough. Oh shit, get him back. Now, it doesn't really matter too much if he dies, except we won't be able to run out there so easily, so it would be better if he didn't die. Let's keep him out of it. Then, once he dies, I'm going to send a bunch of guys up through here around the back, and we'll try and get them in a massive pincer. I'll have to send you in that group as well to make sure they don't break. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send some of these guys now. So, you over here. Who else? You over here. And you over here. Send a group of three around the back.
So that general, yeah, he's not going to last that much longer. Twenty to twenty-two percent. There we go. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the car to hell. You need to not not actually get in combat. Because uh, if he dies, this, this will screw up. Shit, don't let them get away. Gotta get them to break. Quickly before these guys the get away. The fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. You guys press the attack. Do our best to make sure these guys will be cut off soon. They shouldn't last that much longer. There we go. Alright, don't worry so much about them. It's these guys here. They're cut off. Big slaughter incoming. Okay, they're sending they're sending someone around the other side here. There we go. Look at that. Our enemy has- Our men are winning the battle. My lord! The enemy is no longer- Only half the enemy force remains. Talk about a plan just- Just really coming together well there. And now we have to go out there and finish off the artillery, which will not come in here. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. 86%. So we've we've definitely wiped out the enemy army. We just need to... Because I don't think anyone's left just yet. I'm not sure. Make sure you get ahead of them. The enemy army flees the field. Crushed them. The enemy are utterly eighty-six percent. Really, this just managed it, but they're dead. Good. That almost ends English armies in this area. They've still got that smaller no, one. Please, my lord. Ah! Right, lads. Get ready to give them hell. Good doing this just saves time because, like I said, I don't want this to go over two hours. I probably spent more time on this than I really should have, but I don't know. I got I got kind of into it. I mean, really, we we saved this pretty early on. And I don't think at any point in this guy's campaign that he actually had all of Ireland. And giving him all of Ireland, it's kind of like, ah, well, I've just won the campaign for you. But still, he he's it's not actually got to victory. So. Let's pray it remains as such. We still need to get a move on it. But yeah, the campaign is well and truly not a disaster. It's probably in one of the best shapes. Well, it will be once we've done this. In one of the best shapes I've ever left a disaster campaign in. Could bring the uh, the gun mounted uh, guns over, but this isn't going to be difficult. And I think they've got some archers here. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah, they do.
the saints! Our men have slain the enemy general! Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight! The enemy Christ army, it. all of Christendom will be in... Shouldn't be a Come problem. On, we've we've this got a mobility advantage. We'll be fine. I'm surprised it only took four turns to staff them out. I guess I guess the play had a lot to do with that. Just fine. Those armored sergeants will be. Well, actually, these guys are good at dealing with them because they're um, anti armor. By the, the enemy general has no. Um, the enemy army flees the field. After them. This is a clear victory. There we go. All of Ireland under control. Yeah, you can have him. All right, let's just rename these potato cities, and uh, then we'll be done. All right. So, what are we going to call Lifford? Lifford is going to be called. Hmm. Running out of good potato memes. Let's have a look. Uh, potatoes. Oh, that's that's it. I'll just call it hot potato. And Derry shall be known as Northern. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough words for this. Potato. Con. Ah, damn it. see here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, I'll just call it the potato. There you go. Empire of Potato sorted out. Well, not really, more like Kingdom. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next disaster. Fuckers.